various options you have in terms of small crescent wrenches. Um, now, I guess to start, uh, the reason that I'm reviewing small crescent wrenches is I work in theater, uh, in tech theater. And so, uh, as a lot of people in tech theater will tell you, like, um, sort of the favorite in terms of wrenches for lighting people is going to be not a small crescent wrench, but a, a medium size or large crescent wrench. Like that is your 8 inch uh, crescent wrench. This one's made by Cobalt. Um, <clears throat> that's going to be sort of um, a better leverage for um, operating stage lights and stuff like that. Um, some people would prefer to even bigger than that, like a 10 inch crescent wrench. Uh, and then also uh, lighting people may have specialized wrenches. Uh, specific to theater lights, so you might see somebody who carries something like that. So this review is not necessarily meant to be um, specific only to theater people, uh, but what I was looking for in terms of um, my everyday carry uh, sort of setup is I wanted something with a wrench because the other items that I tend to carry, um, let's see, what I can show would be a multi-tool of some kind, um, and I have a, a few different ones that I own uh, for different reasons. Um, and then some sort of a small flashlight. So that could be something like that. Uh, it's a J5 Tactical LED light. Um, or I also have a smaller one on a keychain right there, which is the O light. Um, and so uh, what I wanted was the ability to turn smaller, smaller bolts uh, in the stuff that I carry on me every day without adding significant weight or uh, different like. Um, big tool holster belts and stuff like that. So I started looking for a smaller crescent wrench that wouldn't necessarily turn uh, like the the C-clamp bolt on a on a spotlight uh, in, in ERS, but um, would at least give me the ability to, to work with uh, bolts uh, if I had to up to a certain size. And then if I knew that I was going to be working on lights, for instance, then I would just carry the eight-inch C wrench on me. So I started looking around to see what there was. Um, so. There's a couple that I'm going to kind of eliminate right here that I'm going to talk about just for a reason, uh, reasons of comparison, I guess. So, um, and those are these two here. These are six inch crescent wrenches. So I, I eliminated these because at, at this size, there's some really good things. Like for instance, um, in terms of like holsters, I have my, this is my little free holster that comes with a double uh, A mag light. Uh, the six inch wrench will, will fit nicely in that if you want to carry it in a belt, right? Um, but it's too big to fit in just something like a pocket or in something that goes on your waist because of how long the handle is. And so that's why I sort of eliminated the six inch crescent wrenches. Um, and this one's a Cobalt, this one's an Irwin. I like both of them, they're fine. Um, but you just have to realize that size wise, you're really gonna need something to carry them. Um, or you're gonna have to stick them in a back pocket and they're gonna be kind of uncomfortable. That's a Night Eyes brand uh, flashlight holder that stretches with Velcro. So if you're gonna put something on your belt, you, you could go with the six inch, but at the same time just realize that um, the person working before you, if you're working on something heavy duty, might have been using the eight inch, which also fits in the same holster, uh, and, and then you may have trouble loosening that bolt or whatever. So I eliminated the six inch crescent wrenches and it just left me with these three in terms of one that I was gonna select to carry with me. And I'm gonna kind of talk about the different options and why I chose uh, one over the, the other three. Now, there one that to me is a very odd looking one and I'm gonna eliminate that one next. This is a Craftsman and it was about 10 or $15 at the store. Um, so positives of this one I would say are that it, it does have a, a relatively high build quality. When you move the, the worm gear, it feels smooth. Uh, it can operate, uh, it can open uh, fairly wide, okay? And when I first compared it to, for instance, this little baby one, I was like, oh, this is the, the one with the bigger head obviously opens so much wider. But if you look, there's really not that much difference, okay? And so I don't really feel like that's a, a decided advantage. The other issue with the Craftsman for me is that it's just so oddly shaped. It's got a tiny, tiny handle that's not really good to, to grip onto it with. Um, it would be very difficult to figure out how to put it into a holster of some kind because the handle is not really big or substantial enough to secure it in any way other than maybe letting it dangle by like a lanyard type hook. Um, and it's just, it's awkward to, in your hand, it feels very head heavy. Um, and I just didn't like it. When I saw it in the store, I, I had to have it. And then once I like started like kind of messing with it and worked on some projects, I was just like, this doesn't feel useful. It's also very sharp right there. 
So I eliminated the Craftsman. This calls itself a four inch crescent wrench, as does this one here. So I eliminated that one. I saw this Husky at uh, Home Depot and had to have it. it. comes in a set of other stubby tools, and so I thought that was very cool. So there's some things that are really advantageous about this one. It feels really good in your hand. It feels very short, but at the same time, uh, like you could really uh, torque fairly hard on it because it's a, a wider handle and it's padded. Um, but there are some definite negatives to the Husky, okay? Um, first of all, it, well, I guess a positive is it feels good in your hand, it feels substantial, uh, it opens fairly wide, um, and I guess that, those would be the positives for me. It does look like it could fit in some sort of a, like a holster or tool belt of some kind, but it's kind of difficult because of the rubberized thing to get it in and out of things. Negatives for it, for me, were there's no hole in the handle. So you cannot attach it to a lanyard or any kind of a tie line or anything. So if you're working at heights to keep it from falling. Other options I thought about were maybe putting a zip tie on it or trying to drill through the whole thing. But ultimately that just was a problem for me because I like to be able to, to put a line on my tools so that if I you know, am at, at heights, I'm not gonna drop it on somebody's head. Um, other issues with it are it's just clunky. Like the Husky brand, I'm, I'm not entirely sold on them right now. I know that they have a similar, you know, um, warranty to like the Cobalt, that's the, the Lowe's brand, Husky is like the Home Depot brand right now, uh, but it's just not machined very well. If you look closely at it, there's problems with it, and it's it's got a lot of play, both forward back in the wrench and then side to side as well, um, and just doesn't feel very well made. And I know that's not maybe super important to some people in a crescent wrench, but to me, I just, if I'm gonna carry it every day, I want it to work well. So that leaves me with the Crescent brand four inch crescent wrench. This item is now being carried, um, I believe at both Lowe's and Home Depot, it's about $10. Um, it is four inches, so it's the same length as the earlier shown Craftsman model, but it's much more balanced in terms of the way that it um, feels. It has this nice kind of rubberized or plasticky grip on it. Um, it's very quick, uh, easy on the hands. Uh, it doesn't, there's not a lot that feels sharp or uncomfortable on it. It doesn't come with this keychain. I added this and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Uh, the main disadvantage for me for this wrench, uh, there are two. Number one is you're not gonna get very much torque on it because it is a smallish wrench, okay? So like I said, I would be fine with carrying this in my pocket or on a keychain, you know, on like a, a little um, uh, snap hook or something on my belt all day long and not hardly feel it. Um, and, but it's, you know, if I'm gonna be doing something that's heavy duty, I'm gonna bring my eight inch or larger crescent wrench with me or some other wrench that's specific to what I'm doing. Um, so it's, that's, it's not gonna have much power. And uh, the other thing is it, it, it doesn't open super far. It goes to, it goes a little bit past one half of an inch, okay? So it's not gonna be for everything, but uh, if you know the size of nuts and bolts that you typically use and they're, and they're below that size, then I see no reason why not to get it for 10 bucks. Um, also, the thing I wanted to show is for my everyday carry needs, I can put this on a, a loop of a jeans or belt. And I now have a, a light, I'm gonna review this light in a different video, this is an O-Light, um, super bright little tiny keychain light. And then I have on, on me, without adding much weight at all, this is very light, I have a wrench, and a little light, and then I add the multi-tool, and that gives me the pliers and the Phillips and slotted screwdrivers and all those things. And so that's what I'm using right now for my super light everyday carry for working in a theater. And I have other tools that I'll sort of like load on uh, depending on what I know I'm doing that day. Uh, so that's my review of different um, short uh, crescent wrenches. Um, those are the three main ones that I reviewed there. And uh, thank you for watching. I wanted to do a review of some of the various options you have in terms of small crescent wrenches. Um, now, I guess to start, uh, the reason that I'm reviewing small crescent wrenches is I work in theater, uh, in tech theater, and so uh, as a lot of people in tech theater will tell you, like um, sort of the favorite in terms of wrenches for lighting people is going to be not a small crescent wrench but a, a medium size or large crescent wrench like that is your eight inch uh, crescent wrench this one's made by cobalt um, <clears throat> that's going to be sort of um, a better leverage for um, operating stage life and stuff like that um, 
some people would prefer to even bigger than that, like a 10 inch crescent wrench. Uh, and then also uh, lighting people may have specialized wrenches uh, specific to theater lights, so you might see somebody who carries something like that. So this review is not necessarily meant to be uh, specific.